TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial on sales orders within QuickBooks. Now, many people don't really know what sales orders are. A lot of companies don't use them. In this version of QuickBooks, sales orders are something that are available to you. So I want to talk to you briefly about sales order, and and this is just my opinion. I, again, I'm not an accountant. I'm not an expert. I think so, some things are open to interpretation. So I'm just going to talk to you about this briefly. Let's say, for example, that a client comes in or someone comes in and buys something from you. And regardless of how you actually give them the product or service, let's assume you create an invoice. Well, when you create an invoice, you would click right here on create invoice or up here on invoice. That invoice will now be a receivable because it's on the books. You can see it. They haven't paid you yet. An estimate might be for someone who asks you for an estimate. It could be an existing client or it could be a brand new client. But let's say, for example, you give an estimate and then that estimate, they come back to you and say, yep, we want to buy that from you. But let's say that whatever they want to buy, maybe it's something you don't have in stock or maybe something you have to make. That's when you can use a sales order. So in other words, using a sales order, I'm going to click on this, it looks very much like an invoice. But what a sales order is, is really nothing more than a way for you to track what your customer or the person has agreed to buy from you. But the reason you'd use a sales order is because you want to keep track of it and it might be something, for example, that you need to build. It might be something you need to make. Maybe they ordered chocolate ice cream and you're out of chocolate and you have to make it before you can place the order. But I want to draw your attention to this right up here. Any sales order can be turned into an invoice and actually an estimate can be turned into an invoice or a sales order. Let's say you send them an estimate for chocolate ice cream. They say yes, but you have to make the chocolate ice cream. So you decide, okay, I'm going to turn it into a sales order and just sort of have it out there. If you had immediately created it into an invoice, it would appear they owe you that money where actually you're waiting to create the order or create the product or service before you send it out. So a sales order can be something that is sort of that in between. And in a technical point, it's non-posting, meaning it's not seen on the books as a sale. It's not seen as a receivable. It's not seen at all except for the exception of just being able to see it as a sales order. So another way to look at this is if you have inventory and things are out of inventory, maybe it's a partial order, then that's a great time to use a sales order. It's just sort of that in-between point and can be used in a lot of different ways. Now, what I haven't done here is gone through the process of creating a sales order, and that's only because, quite honestly, it's exactly like creating an invoice. It, it looks almost identical. So I'm not going to take that time here. I think at this point you can sort of figure that out. So again, a sales order can be used for different things, and it really just depends on how you work and how your company works. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you very much for being here. Have a great day.